viewers all over the world. My mission is to help people live better life. No budget. Our today's topic is faith and conviction. Faith and conviction. Then I will explain to you what you should know about faith and conviction in able spirituality. So today's lecture just take it faith and conviction. Before we dive into today's lecture proper, important announcements. Don't forget that our monthly rituals, the month of August, is still ongoing. You can still join anywhere you are all over the globe because God's power is everywhere. In all our work in the temple, distance is never a barrier in all our spiritual work or in our deep consultations. Monthly ritual is, is for liberation of bereavement and breakthrough. We have lots of testimonies. This group ritual started almost three years now. By November, it will be exactly three years. We have lots of people that have been following us in this group rituals. Like I say, always say, what you don't know remains a mystery to you, not other to others. As you all know, our system, we don't share our all of testimonies on social media. You know why? It's not necessarily not why we are here. But I can tell you we have lots of testimonies. But there are some people that normally book every January they book to add here to ensure that they do not even skip for one month. That is to show you that we have lots of testimonies because you care in our So bad. So, if you are want to join us, what we do, do is to forward their three prayer requests. Then make token donation to the account number. Yes. Chat me on WhatsApp. I will, I will, the number you are seeing on the screen, if you are watching us for me, so put it in my WhatsApp number. Yes. So, you can chat me on WhatsApp. But for those, most of, for the, uh, both of you that are seeing me on other social media platforms, call me. On my WhatsApp number, 0805 I repeat, 0805 or 0813-8243871. Now, what we normally do is that this morning I have gone to the temple to speak positivity, make declaration upon the lives of those that join us for the month of August. And on behalf of the upon the lives of the friends of the temple and children of the temple and all our fans. On the last day of this month, we go to the river with Egypt to offer sacrifices, white sacrifices and the Salaka. Then we proceed back to the temple to offer sacrifices to the entities of ours in the temple, including Ram Abel. On behalf of all, I can tell you we have lots of testimonies. Yes. So if you are watching me on your television set, via Global TV or Amazon or Smart TV, whatever, outside Africa, chat me on WhatsApp. I would like to know where you are watching. That's why. Then 
if you are watching me, have any question, you have following me on social media platforms, touch the share button, tell people, share our administration. If you are following us from our Ezioku TV, then tell people about our administration. Ezioku TV belongs to Gucci Tuwana Temple. Let's now dive into today's lecture proper. Like I said, today's topic is faith and conviction. And uh, I'm here, as you all know my teaching, I will give you size some examples for you to understand what I'm about to tell you today, for you to understand. Because what you don't know remains a mystery. Then what is faith? What is conviction? Now, the truth of the matter is that for you to be a strong person, spiritual-wise, you must understand how things work so that you have the real faith and the condition. And uh, let me tell you about uh, faith and condition. In Hebrew spirituality, if you have not conquered that as fear, you have not started. You must understand that before anything will happen to you, that what God does not know can never happen. Yes. What that whatever that is not approved in the spiritual world can never come into the reality. And the, whatever that must happen to you, your spiritual guide must be in the door. That is why in the one evil addict says, and I put Nachonya Digibis Nisinachiawa. Chonya Digibis Nisinachiawa. I will explain it in English. Meaning, if your guide, your chief, is not in support and give approval for whatever harm that befell you, that thing will never work. And you will live long and grow gray hair. Meaning that before anything happens to you, your chief and your spiritual forces are in you. So, if you want to be receiving anything or to avoid any negativity, make sure you are in good terms with your chi and your spiritual forces because they are back good. And you have to trust them. You have to believe in your spiritual forces without shaking. Let me tell you what fight is all about. You remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the Old book in uh, the ancient book, Old Testament. When they face their own challenge of life and they face penalty, they keep trusting in their God. And believe in me, everything was by faith. Everything. Even any talisman anybody does to you, you must have faith in that talisman. And uh, if you have faith in that talisman, that your faith will work for you. So everything is all about faith. So you don't need to see that. Whenever you, you encounter any challenges in life and you begin to see that, you go down. Remember the story also in the Bible. You know why I normally like to use Bible to cite examples? Because I know you know the story. I can't start telling you about the story of Buddha. Yes. How Buddha, you know, Buddha used to be a prince, a dethroned prince. In, in his pain and lamentation, he discovered his true being. I don't want to start telling those stories because he did not read it. So I want to use what you know. You know about that story that we were told that Peter was once walking upon the waters. It's a legacy story, anyways. However, I want to use it to explain something. Now at the stage, it was like ah, his his faith began to shiver, and he went down. Are you following? So everything boils down to faith. If you have Maybe you are 
Ordinary adherent. Yes. You have to have strong faith that gods of your ancestors will never disappoint you. That is fact. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, even if the gods of our land, even if the Chuku will not protect them, that they will never go against that decision. The even if, that is, they believe that the Achi will serve them. However, even if the Achi decide not to serve them, that they still believe it. Who does that? That is the covet. So whatever you are doing, as you are returning massively to the road you are route, you must have faith, strong faith, with their conviction. Our forefathers follows the old path. Out of conviction and faith. But nowadays is Aboro that looking that is looking for miracle here and there. It's not today that the thing started. Because I remember that story in the Bible. Jesus told people that Niyama, I know. That you people did not come today here because you want to hear. But you are here because of what you get. Or I say that this generation is the generation that is looking for miracle. And that is the problem. People don't really understand what miracle is. But what I want to share with you today is for you to understand. The importance of faith and conviction. That is the only way you will achieve all your set goals. Yesterday was August 15th. Yes, day before yesterday was August 15th. And as you all know, it is the day the Catholics all over the world set aside. The day they normally believe in what I call abracadabra is the day they call it Oposo Kana Solo, meaning that core Catholics are not expected to go to market or do any work. However, they will be eating up. And now, I'm a Mofoy Jacobazia, so, you ask me what they're celebrating that day, every August 15th. Like I told you before, that Catholic faith is, uh, is a religion. And uh, that they normally train their members to believe in everything. The, the papacy, that is the Pope, the creed. They believe in dogma. But the same people came to Africa. The civil people turn our faith and conditions upside down. Then they superimpose theirs upon us. And uh, they make us to believe what is not even, uh, what if you look at it is not irrational. They make us to believe abracadabra. Like that particular story, I want to tell you what they celebrated because you don't know. On that August 15th, now what they celebrated, they, is the day the Pope Pius the Twelfth in, ba in, in Basilica room make a declaration and a dogma. You know what is a dogma? Dogma, dogma is a declaration made by the pontiff. As long as you remain a Catholic, you are under obligation, you are binding that you it is a must that you believe it. It's called dogma. In Catholic faith, they have so many dogmas. But let me quote only these two. They have the one they, they did, they call it cancel. They call, convoke cancel when there is crisis everywhere. 
and the Pope uses authority as the Pope in the year uh, 339 AD in Ephesus, France, and make a declaration that Mary is the Theotokos, meaning Mary is the mother of God. Who does that? And we have told you that God don't have beginning, it doesn't have the ending. Therefore, whoever that has mother has beginning. Because it simply means that the mother gave birth to the person. Abi, what makes a woman a mother is giving birth to social person. For you to say this person is my mother, means he gave birth to me. So nobody, no spirit ever gave birth to two people. So, but for them, they make that declaration, blind declaration, and everybody accepted. Under what they call, what, what I call blind faith. Of the Roman Church, they are separate. Right? Council of Ephesus. Then, then in recent time, 1950 of yesteryear, 1950 of yesteryear, Pope Pius XII make a declaration again that the body of Mary. Remember, I told you once. I once told you the story of lies. The story of lies. The they told there is in the book, is in their bookshop. Well, you can go there buy. Go and buy the story about um Joaquin and Anne. Joaquin and Anne, mother of Mary. There was this allegorical story there. Because Joaquin and Anne are childless. At their old age, according to that story, they told us that at a particular day, September 1. You know, they normally do feast of so September some. They normally do feast of, and they call it birth of great men. They told us that that day was the date the, the uh, Mary, Mary was born. But the Mary con, 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 um, conceived, they believe, they told us that before they con, uh, conceived Mary, the mother, her mother is Anne, while her father is Joachim. That they just hugged themselves and there was this radiation eh, from heavens to overshadow them and the hand took in. <laughs> Who does that? Those things are allegorical stories of the Roman church. People believe. People believe. You believe all those their stories because you have faith in them. Even when it's beyond logical proof you know that they lied but because you are under obligation as a uh, faithful so faithful you believe it so they told us that mary conception was done immaculate that there is nothing like normal man and woman meeting so that is when they started cooking the story to tell us that mary is immaculate they, they told us that she is immaculate and she was conceived immaculate. That's what they are trying to say. And they told us that she died immaculate. <laughs> uh, so, lots of lies was told in order to preserve the personality of Mary because they wanted to create a personality around her. Now, history was made, another mystery in their own rank. In 1950, Pope Paul XII made declaration in St. Peter's Basilica that from that day that he became a dogma that every Catholic must believe that Mary, when Mary died, that host of angels came and carried her body to heaven. <laughs> Who does that? All those things are just allegorical stories. Yes, but we, in evening, in our culture, we have some of those fairy tale stories, allegorical stories of tortoise and everything, you know, understanding like Ogo Gongo, you know, and then how the uh, tortoise to see the uh, elephant and whatever. All those things that are stories just to portray a point. So they are on after that, they wrote it to their book. It's there in the bookshop. What the college is from? Now, after that, in 1950, that Pope Pius declared, Mary said that it's a compulsion that once you're a Catholic, you must believe that Mary's body was incorruptible, that they took her body flesh. Heaven. And I wonder where, and you see, we see a, 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 a professor, believing those are black. 
I was once on your anywhere. And uh, some people, I, I believe it then, because I was born. And uh, those lies were told to me. Uh, they sold those lies to me. But now, when I began to reason, and I said, no, 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 this cannot be true. Now, they took, they told us that they took those fresh, the angels were singing, according to that Adagoka story, her body was taken to heaven. They call it assumption. But me, I told you that that, in that particular incident is assumption. They just created it, the assumption. As the name sound. Yes, not sure. No Reverend Father can swear. Can swear with his father's grave that Mary's corpse was taken to him. No, they can't. Because if he sworn, he will, he will die, drop dead there. He will not. He will tell you that's why they said he's dog man. Whether he are, he's scientifically proof of which they know is not possible. Then, under their faith, blind faith, you believe. And I can tell you, they still have millions of members believing that that's a bullshit. Now, in that year, 1950, the body was then uh, was acclaimed to be assumed to the heavens. That was the day. And in that damn 1950, that year was the day year the the new bishop, the diocese of Owele, over the diocese was created. That's why they named the, the cathedral there as Omta Cathedral Owele. Now, I didn't have a control, a lot of control. You see, as Omta Cathedral. It's because that as Omta Cathedral was created in the same 1950 when the the Mary, the that dogma of Mary. Body, uh, Mary was taken to heaven, body and soul was the Greek. The Greek. So, therefore, they named that cathedral after that particular thing that took uh, effect in 1950. Yes. So, to call the whole story short, you see how can this put their own people to accept such things, even when those things are not scientifically proven? Because they turn their faithfuls to always believe whenever there is a decree by the papacy, by the Pope, as a dogma, they are bound to believe. I know some Catholics don't even know this. Some Catholics don't even know this. But I can tell you, it's not fact. It's total lies. Because there was no, there is no way the human body that has flesh and blood if the body, if the body cannot, can be taken to heaven, then what's the point of dying? He died because he was recorded that she died. Now, if she died, meaning that the, the soul, uh, the spirit have left the body, then the body is lifeless. Why taking the body again? The same story is what they told us about uh, Jesus, the son of Jesus, they actually accepted that she died by 3 o'clock uh, uh, p.m. And his body was lowered to the grave. Because if it meant that he would start smelling. Yes. Joseph the Arimathea went and begged the pilot to allow him, give him permission to lower the, the cups. Because that day was Friday. The next day will be Saturday, Sabbath day. Nobody can even near that side. And he was permitted. Now, they now told us that he resurrected. For anything to die, meaning that thing has beginning. I want you to have sense. Nobody should continue to remind setting you, your brain. Begin to ask questions. So, for anything to die, Yes, the, the thing has beginning. Because even plants, once plant has a day, the, the plant by the class is germinated. Therefore, they must have day of ending. Because it has beginning, it has ending. Human being dies because human being originated, started one day. As in Libra, 
So anything that has beginning and has end. Do you know why Chuku is Chuku? Chuku is called Chuku because he's an Alpha and Omega. It's the beginning and the end. It has no beginning, it has no end. Nobody knows how it doesn't have shape. Every shape, every creation is in him. He can decide to appear the way he wants to appear. It has no beginning, it has no end. The church people will tell you that you go ever got to go during the Kawakatsu class. Then we are told to go on any way. And even the same Genesis told us that God created heaven and earth. Are you following? You know that he said God is in heaven. Then we are told God created heaven and earth. Genesis chapter one. Now where is God before creating heaven and earth? You can see that the issue of God to comprehend who God is. Is beyond human comprehension. You know why? Because God Chukwokike is divine. His origin is different from ours. So in life, you can never comprehend what is beyond you, what is beyond your origin. You can't comprehend it. So I want to use their book to judge them. They said. Are you following? Now, in the throne of God, since God has no flesh, He doesn't have any flesh because flesh has nothing to do in the spiritual realm. How come they concocted this story and you believe it in the name of faith that the body of Jesus that was that died and it was lower to the grave? And Mary died too. That that flesh, earthly flesh, has anything to do in the world of spiritual? Who does that? Spirit has nothing to do with, with, with the flesh. Because flesh decay. Flesh comprises the blood flesh. And therefore they decay. So it has, doesn't have any place in the spiritual realm. And that is the reason why. Flesh is the cloth, is like earthly cloth, the, the, the earthly wears. Once we are descending to, to spiritual realm, I don't want to, I don't, I, I'm trying to see how I can, I can this, uh, explain it for you to understand. In the spiritual realm, we don't have flesh. It's just a spirit jam. That is, doesn't have any shape or form. So, the purpose of wearing this, our clothes, this body, is clothes. They used to cover the real you. That is the spirit and the, the mind. The mind is just to be telling, the guiding you, telling you what to do. Now, for you to be exist, to exist in this cloth material, you need to wear that cloth. So that you will have hand. So that you will be able to perform in this cloth material. So that you have leg now, so you can walk. Have hand so that you can walk. To get what you will be eating. So this body was given us for the purpose of here on earth. And the, for the fact that they are coming here on earth, you have already taken on decision what you want to achieve. Either passive in nature as a woman or coerced in nature as a man. So once that decision was made, why coming down as a spirit jam in this gross material, you go and wear the body that will help you to walk in line with your passion. As either as a passive in nature as a woman or to coerce in nature as a man. So you wear those clothes. That clothes with the body you wear. Determine whether you have this organ or the other organ. In order to function in that line of that um uh, your mission here on earth. So the earthly body, our body is only useful here on earth. Now, how can somebody what is the useful? That's why I we are told that even in the paradise. In the spiritual realm, paradise simple means spiritual realm. In the paradise, that is why the story, remember the story Jesus was asked in the Bible. Now, why you know, 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 why
or how well you say in that particular paradise. Kurodo Gabuya. Oh, I see na 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 because everybody is, is praise. Magana Obro na ngu karu okay na unye dia edo eba ndi ya bi da badi be ha ya di kodia. Yo tadia. So everybody be us praise when he had Male and female. Male and female organ is just for us to be here to for the purpose of procreating. Are you following? For well, this people can life Africa. They now told you that this one died and is related with the body. Do you what exactly with that body? Those things are like a custody. I told you that these people have a liar. Under faith, you believe everything. Believe everything flash. Now, they now told you again that Mary, this is the height of it all. That Mary, now, in order to give him that honor they want to give him, they said his mother of God. Yes. To pay more on the God. Has, God has no beginning and because he's too big. Is the Alpha and Omega it had no beginning, it had no end. If you look at him as the other one, the, the big eye that sees everything in the whole universe, he become an eye. You see him as the tree of life, he become tree, miracle tree. You see him as a, as a water of life, the fountain of grace. He become a waterfall. So whatever, he doesn't have any shape. Depend on how he touches you, how you feel about him. He call him that name. He doesn't have any name. That is even why in the ancient book. Moses asked, Go and Marcian of Osa, tell the Wafero Nabu me Hembro. I don't know who I am. All these names we are giving is not even his name. We are trying to see how you can on, as quantify him. Like two groups, because we recognize that name with a small God, because Madu Chibia. Then I will not call him a car with the unmovable mover. I say, No, car will take character, character. However, it's not even him then. Because what I have, what I can on up and they are, what about on they are, or yeah, Moria. Makanam Nagib has been the existed before you. How can you give your father a name? So, you know what we are trying even to do to describe that we are referring to Chiku. So, that's what we call Yoba Elohim, Yoba Donai, all these are names. Right there. So what I'm telling you is, you know that the Roman faith have inculcated this habit of believing, blindly believing in what that is not even scientifically proven. As long as it's flesh, as long as flesh, flesh must be hungry. Flesh must be fed. So meaning that in the, in the wherever she is, if he agree, accept. That he, her body was a something to heaven. He meaning, he meaning that that body was we winner. That body was go to toilet because his body, his earthly body. You see, for so if the body, the essence of okay, what's the essence of taking that body there? All this is the allegorical story they form in order to give a special privilege and special packaging to whomever they want to give that package. It's something. A day with the Jesus story. So give one in Africa. They have they brainwash you to draw their own out of proportions. Now while looking down on you, you your lineage, they are just disappearing. The truth of the matter is that I'm calling you to come back home. Stop believing all the bullshit the, the wise told you about jazz. In order to promote theirs. Why neglecting yours? Come back home. Come back to your roots. There are so many reasons why you should come back to your roots and believe, have strong conviction to your roots. You know why? Believe in me. If you are crying, you recognize your ancestors. Believe in me, they wear ones. But the problem most people are having now that. You are coming to back to your ancestors with high expectation. They are giving them condition. 
for the fact that he feel they are cheap once, for the fact that he throws you today tomorrow. You want them to give you Lamborghini as a proof. Who does that? You will make a child in the family. On what I carry, no na benne na nia. A child that does what is expected of him, with that what that particular child expecting Lamborghini in return. A child in your family knows the duty that once you wake up, you do all your house jobs. It's, it's mandatory. It's your duty. So recognizing your ancestors, cleaning your obi, recognize your kumori and cleaning those altars, recognizing them, those, those things are your normal routine. Makanonye first says, if you celebrate your ancestors, definitely someone will celebrate you. Yes. Onye kene soni sonye kene ya. So when you celebrate your ancestors, I can assure you, your children are born will still celebrate you. Because you have already concluded the idea that they must celebrate this. Like me, every first of January, I said it's my ancestral day. I celebrate them. So you make it a compulsory in your own family. You can choose a date. I choose first, first of every first January. Then you can choose, make, choose ancestral day. Let it be the day you pray. Recognize your ancestors. Because they fought for your existence. So, whenever you are recognizing them, whenever you are doing the, the beautiful, stop being stop finding yourself, thinking that you have done something extraordinary. What something extraordinary have you done? You fed the IT, you fed the IND chair. You, you recognize your uh, water people or whatever your future forces and you are finding yourself that you have done much. And therefore, they should give you a limousine for you to believe that they had their prayers. Who does that? As a child, a child that does what is expected of him, will that child be expecting a, a G wagon in a thought for doing what is what the, do, Have you done anything uh, extraordinary that you fed the H? All this is here for your own good. What they're actually doing is they're building personal relations. Building personal relations with your chief. Making peace with them. Why we are telling you to come back to your root is not for you to get rich quick. It's for you to be at peace, make amends. Appeasement. Make appeasement with your spiritual forces. Make appeasement with any forces that you have gone wrong against. Make a peace with the gods of your land and your ancestors. That's what we are guaranteeing you. What I ask you to do is to be at peace with them. Not for you to, to be richer than that good thing. No. Be at peace with them. Then if there is any blessing that see, it's like uh, a child. You are at peace with your father. You are at peace with your mother. Definitely, their prayer alone, their blessing alone is enough for you. Yes, so you're supposed to be at peace with your father because one, and we are told that whoever is only the that fourth commandment that has blessings, that whoever that respects his parents will live long. So why you are respecting your ancestors is that you are the representative of your ancestors at today. That is why our Ibo Ade says, the only man near man, he who knows his father knows his ancestors. Because your father is the representative of your ancestors. You can't claim to love your ancestors without loving your father, your sin. So, what? They are not owing you anything. That's what I'm saying. And you have to believe in them with all your faith, conviction, that I'm doing what is expected of me as a child. So, sometimes you people are, you are doing one spiritual work. You carry all your body and put there. No. Do your spiritual work, align yourself with them. It's, your, it's the responsibility of a good child to be at peace with his father, to be at peace with his mother, to be at peace and be in, have cordial relationship and harmony in his, within his environment. So that is what we'll be seeking. Forget that part money. People are making some of my mistakes. Look at Solomon. Solomon was asked to make it. Solomon said, he need wisdom. So what are you coming to your ancestors? Because you are feeling what are you asking for? You are asking for Lamborghini. 
what we should be asking for is that one, give me wisdom, give me long life and prosperity. And that prosperity could be long life, it could be uh, reasonable children, it could be anything from their mind. Our ancestors, that is our wonder. They covenant with our forefathers and to work their hearts in that long life. Our wonder, then I have a chicken, Bogonogondo, Narisiki. Ogonogondo, Narisiki, or our wonder, Naiha. Our forefathers had a covenant with the Chuku of long life and prosperity. But you are not the one that will determine whether it will be G Wagon or it will be anything. So stop giving them this attitude that uh, if I feed you, if I do not get G Wagon, I will stop. Who does that? Stop coming back to your ancestors, to your roots with this condition. Do it because that is what is expected of you as a good child. Then forgetting the blessing, blessing was surely come. Because only all one will go. Hey, what can deserve a thing? What they, let me tell you one thing don't know about the spiritual forces. Any good thing you do, you must get reward. The spirit can never owe you. Whatever good it does must flow back to you. The original pure in it. The law of karma is already there. Chukwokike in his infinite mercy is already on his throne. Set the mechanism, the natural laws that ensures that whoever any man so be it goodies, be it bad, must flow back to you so that you are recognizing ancestors, feeding your dead father, feeding your ancestors, doing saraka. What our, our people would even need is their recognition. So, what of other saraka that eat their bodies that follows? We eat it, we human, we deliver. So what they want is just recognition. Recognize them. Tell them that you are here to recognize them. Tell them that you believe in them. Tell them that you believe in what they can do. Tell them that you you come into their refuge. Tell them that you love them. Just forget about what they will do for having done this. So it's a pity that let me tell you, if all your reason is that every time is yum, 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 money, 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 money. There is a time that you even call your uncle. Any uncle of yours that you always yem, 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 money, money, money. There is a time you call his call. You will not pick. You know why? You always say, this boy has come again. Even without knowing that maybe this time around you are coming for something different. You understand? But for the fact that he already know you as yem, yem, yem person. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah? He can never call your uncle and... Uh, and tell him about something that we two of you will love, you know, enjoy, I know. Even something that will benefit him. Every time, yum, yum, yum. sometimes I can tell you your uncle will stop picking your cups. And that is exactly what is happening to you to your prayers. Because every time of your prayer is give me, give me Lamborghini, give me J Wagon, give me Dupless, give me, give me, give me, give me. What are you bringing? So sometimes, let it be. Example, if you are uh, a man, you are very wealthy. You don't call your children for any dis any disturbance. Once your son see a big call, you pick it because you know you understand that you are not asking for money. The same thing. So always know what to always ask for money. Ask your ancestors. See, let me give you a clue. If you don't understand how this work, from today begin to ask them. My fathers, I celebrate you. I'm proud of you. Begin to praise, 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 keep praising them. Tell them, appreciate. If they know you, let me know, even me as a human being. If I notice someone as someone that always appreciates him, I will always give him. Yes. But if I, I sense that this person will not appreciate him, sometimes even if I, I say, ah, if I give this person that, do I know whether he will appreciate it? I will see that. Show appreciation in little things so that only in a given end, of course, always show appreciation to your ancestors so that they will keep blessing you. So, always one sing praises, tell them that they have done more, much. 
after praising them. Tell them your needs. And tell them why you need those things. Are you following? Let me use myself as an example if I random. I told my Ismail that when I accepted this my calling, that I will go, I will, I will go this message with full chest. I will give all, the, all my strength. I will give it to it. Because I have seen it all. After reading so many spiritual books, I now come to understand that my root is the best. So I told them that I have come with all mine. That even if the whole Africa refused to serve the gods of our land, that I will be the one last man standing. I gave my all. I told them that the Jews here, that I want to be great in Jews here. Nan Choloke kam to imirikete nde mada na amu. Nam Cholo Kampuru Oya Geshina Kegosi imirikete nde mada. Nam Choko Asirike Ege Bego. Ego Mbeji Nde Nde Mada. Ego Mbeji Basi Kodi Nani. That has been my prayers years ago. And believe in me, they never disappoint. And me on my part, I did everything humanly possible to ensure that every day I will come and speak. Whenever they give me the message, I will come and speak it. Because as this message is falling now, I know this message has some certain individuals that this message is meant for. After listening to this message, they will be awakened. They will have everything. This message is solely for some people, I can tell you. I know some people that I will benefit from this message. That is what it is for them. So I told them that every morning I will come and give this message. In return, and uh, that I will invest heavily in for forgetting of this message. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm the only ordinary adherent that believes in spending for evangelization. I spend a huge amount of money to maintain a Zoku TV and a Zoku TV post. And I don't care if I get any support from any man or woman. Because it has been what I asked the woman more before I start. That I will contribute my quota towards evangelization and propagating of this threat, evil spirituality. And I focus my mind in doing so. And they assure me, assure me that once I focus my mind, that they will always be at my back. And they are doing it. So I don't know what you are coming for. What is the proposal? Don't you even know that even banks can support your vision if you write a good proposal, very enticing one. Come to banks, tell them your proposal, tell them your wish. If they see it, what backing up finance, they finance it. So, but every time you come to your spiritual forces, yum, 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 what their proposal are you coming for? This thing you're asking for. You need money, you need Lamborghini. What are you using that Lamborghini for? Is it to intimidate people? Is it to impress people? Is it to show people that I have arrived? My brother, sister, sister. Why your prayer has not been answered? Because what you are asking for is not well articulated. You are not focused. What you are asking for is not... Tell them, if you are telling them that... You need, I tell them that I want to be a billionaire. Yes, for a purpose. I get a line out that I need to use it to help people. The less people. And today we have Ugo Chituel um, Foundation. We have it. Yes, we have other some people that are under our care. Every money that comes to the temple, be it a gaffer, be it work donation from people and they want money for work, whatever. There's some certain percentage that goes for these people. Yes. Then there's some percentage that goes for evangelization. So I told them what I need this money for. And I'm bringing it and I'm channeling it. Then they keep giving me more. So that is the proposal. So what is the proposal you are writing? Okay, you want to be rich. Uh, I want to be rich. I want to have to play because I want to intimidate that my uncle that has seen me as we are poor. Is it why you want to be rich? So you want to be rich just to buga and to prepare your uncle. Is it why you want to be rich? Okay, you don't have a good, a good proposal. And that's why your prayer has not answered. So go home, think properly. Look for something reasonable. Write something that will be enticing to the, the spiritual world. Your ancestors will be proud of you. Not, I want to be, I want to go to December, I want to carry you wagon to prepare them. Is it your proposal? Or to change your mindset. So, so what goes, you have not changed your mindset. That's why you have, and so you have the wrong facts. So if you are coming to a evil spirituality, coming back is to be rich. 
you have it, you got it wrong. Solomon was as what he was, he said wisdom. Because if you have the right wisdom, apply it, that wisdom will even heal other things. Because you know why? Don't you know? Yes, I asked for the money that I will use it to evangelize. And then I will use it to help the less privileged. Whoever she called in Anibu. Definitely, once I'm there to help others, he that is washing clothes, washes his hand at the same time. So, change your mindset. Come back to your roots with some faith and conviction that I have come back to my roots whether they made me rich or not. Opa Sinachi. Okay, Sinachi. Whether they make me rich or not. But one thing I can assure you, if you come back to your root with SUV, with truthfulness and sincerity and strong conviction, what you will eat will never be a problem. What again I can assure you is you're going to go to the Nobody can kill you. Long life and prosperity will be yours. That is all one door covenant our fathers has with God. Any other thing is jara. Any other thing is what you write proposal. Do you know that banks are seeking, seeking proposals? Seeking proposal. Yesterday, um, one of, one of uh, my account officer who, did, who did, uh, came with uh, is a marketing officer. He came to my house yesterday. He came with proposal. He telling me that he understand that I have large proposals and everything, large in business investments. That it will it will be, uh, it will be her wish and her bank to to finance some of our projects. Are you following? Because they saw where we are going, we had, they saw our investment, they saw our target, they saw our this is this. Are you following? So what I'm telling you that. Once we have right to put that, you know that banks normally are as in finance projects, you know. They can even, they, they will be interested, yes. For example, example, if they say, okay, let's say you are going into a, a factory or maybe something that is productive, they see the gain, they see whatever. They can say, okay, we can give you all the machines you need. Then you can be paying so so. Because they saw it, they saw your transaction, saw your effort. But you must come with your. Yeah, the uh, proposal that is enticing. The same thing with spiritual. So what are you coming? Are you just for the sake you want to be rich for, for the purpose of being rich? Or to prepare your enemies? Is it why you want to be rich? Have you think about how this how this thing you are asking for from them will be a for great help to the down to the to the less privileged? Have you think about that? My friend, go and write good proposal and it shall be well with you. Let me stop here. If you have any question. In today's lecture, on the talk about family, send the message in our WhatsApp 0805 7837 I repeat 0805 the name of the Most High, may we all be blessed. I pray on behalf of friends of the temple and spirit of the temple and our fans all over the world, may you be blessed. May there be abundant blessing wisdom and understanding. May your work of your hands be blessed today and forevermore. Like I said, see you tomorrow. I want to know where you are. I know you're going.